Hi friends, welcome back to TM Education. Friends, in this video we are solving problem on first order and first degree differential equation. In that non-exact differential equation topic we are discussing. Right. Friends, you see here I gave three problems. First one is xy dx minus x square plus 2y square dy and answer also I gave. Similarly, I gave uh, uh, another two with the answers. Friends, now I am going to solve one problem. Okay, remaining problems you have to try. Okay, same method I am going to solve. Right, if you are not getting, you can watch these problems in my next videos. Okay, now I am going to solve the problem. My problem is solve xy dx minus x square plus 2y square dy is equal to 0. Okay friends, now I will solve this problem. You observe, the given problem is in the form of m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy is equal to 0. Whenever the given differential equation is m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 form, we have to verify which is an exact or non-exact. Okay, how we are verifying which is exact or non-exact means we have to find out dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. If both are equal, then we can say exact. If it is not equal, then you can say non-exact differential equation. Equation. Okay friends, now I am finding dou m by dou y. Dou m by dou y means here what is m? We need to write first m value. What is m here? dx quotient. Here dx quotient is what you have? xy. And n is here dy quotient. What is the dy quotient in the given problem? Minus x square minus 2y square. So find out dou m by dou y. Here dou m by dou y means we have to differentiate m partially with respect to y. While differentiating m partially with respect to y, we have to treat all other variables as a constant. Here only one, one function we have that is in terms of x and y. So x is a constant. y derivative with respect to y means 1. 1 into x is x only. Now dou n by dou x. We have to differentiate n partially with respect to x. But n is containing sum of two terms. Okay, first term is in terms of x alone only. Okay, now x square derivative is 2x minus here is there any x term? No. So independent of x means it will be a constant. So constant derivative with 0. By the observation what you can say? Dou m by dou y is x. Dou n by dou x is minus 2x. Is both are equal? No. So you can say which is non-exact. Non-exact differential equation. Okay friends. Whenever the given differential equation is a non-exact we have a rule 1 that is inspection method. Okay. If the inspection method is not possible, then we have to verify the given differential equation is a homogeneous or not. How you can verify the homogeneous means? You observe friends, in place of, uh, suppose in place of uh, x, you write down kx. In place of y, you write down ky. If f of kx comma ky is in the form of k power n into f of x comma y, then you can say the given function is a homogeneous function of degree n. When you can say m dx plus n dy is a homogeneous means m and n are both should be same degree. Okay friends, now you observe m of kx comma ky if I taken, then I will have kx into ky is equal to k square x is xy, k square into xy. So you can say which is a degree 2. Now I am going to verify n of kx comma ky. In place of x you write down kx that is k square x square minus 2 k square y square. So I can take a k square is a common then I will have minus x square minus 2 y square. So this is a n only. So you can say degree is 2. Here both m and n are same degree. Therefore you can say the given differential equation is homogeneous. Homogeneous differential equation. Then the given differential equation is homogeneous. Also what we have? Non-exact. So we have to verify mx plus ny value. mx plus ny we have to verify. Is it equal to 0? If mx plus ny is equal to 0, we are not getting a rule 2. If mx plus ny not is equal to 0, then integrating factor we have 1 by mx plus ny. Okay. Now I am verifying mx plus ny. We have a m is xy. So if I multiply it with x, I will have x square y. Okay friends. Now x square y next plus into minus minus if I multiplied uh, for n is y, I will get a x minus x square y minus 2y cube. So already I have written minus. So I will have x, x square y minus uh, 2y cube. So plus x square y minus x square y getting cancelled. Then I will have minus 2y cube. Is it 0 friends? No. So this is not equal to 0. So in this case, what is the integrating factor we have? Integrating factor is minus 1 by 2y cube. Okay friends. 
So now we have to multiply this integrating factor for the given function m dx plus given differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 then it will be convert into m1 dx plus n1 dy is equal to 0 as exact differential equation which is what actually m dx plus n dy is non-exact we are multiplying integrating factor so it will be convert into exact if it is exact then we have a general solution integral of m1 dx plus integral of n1 dy is equal to c here y is a constant this is a free from x terms okay friends now i am multiplying uh, this minus 1 by 2 yq for given m dx plus n dy what they are given m dx plus n dy x y dx minus half x square 2 y square okay now i am multiplying with integrating factor then i will have minus x y by 2 y cube dx next minus half minus okay minus i am writing first minus x square plus 2 y square by 2 y cube minus half minus plus into dy is equal to 0 which is an exact differential equation friends okay now if i simplify it then i will have minus x by 2y square dx plus here I can write this is x square by 2y cube and this is 1 by y dy is equal to 0 is an exact differential equation hence the general solution general solution is integral of m1 dx m1 dx plus integral of n1 dy is equal to c here y constant here free from x terms okay friends now minus integral of 1 by 2y square outside x dx plus integral of free from x terms here you have a x terms so don't take this x term friends now you have 1 by y dy is equal to c so if you simplify this then we will have minus 1 by 2y square is outside x integration is x square by 2 plus 1 by y means denominator derivative in the numerator so you have to write log y which is equal to log c or any arbitrary constant uh, c you can write friends it's not an issue okay so if you simplify this then you will have minus x square by 4y square plus log y which is equal to c of course you can also write minus x square plus 4y square into log y which is equal to 4cy square into c okay whatever it may be uh, any of these three are correct so friends now i have done the given problem first problem i have done so you try to solve the remaining problems so if you are getting the same answers uh, what i gave uh, please ping me in the comment box if you have any doubts you can watch my another videos thank you for watching this video